Good morning. Sing with us as we prepare for the story and remember God's words to us in Psalm 46. Welcome to Children of Worship. I'm so glad you came to hear the Bible story today. Last week, we learned about Daniel remaining faithful to God. This week, we'll talk about Daniel's friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and how they remain faithful to God. Our story begins with King Nebuchadnezzar, who we heard about last week. King Nebuchadnezzar was the king of Babylon in the Old Testament. King Nebuchadnezzar ordered for a gold statue to be made. However, this wasn't just an ordinary gold statue. It was 90 feet tall and 9 feet wide. That would be about as tall as stacking 25 of you on top of each other. King Nebuchadnezzar was not faithful to God, and he wanted people to worship the gold statue. The king sent for all kinds of people in the land and ordered them to worship the gold statue when horns, flutes, harps, and pipes made music. King Nebuchadnezzar warned the people that if they didn't worship the statue, they would be thrown into a fiery furnace. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were part of the group that King Nebuchadnezzar brought to worship the gold statue. But just like Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were faithful to God. Because they were faithful to God, they refused to bow down and worship the gold statue when the music played. God commands his people to worship no idols, and these three men wanted to obey God. King Nebuchadnezzar was angry that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego refused to worship the gold statue. When the three men were brought before the king, they said that they would only worship the one true God. Then, King Nebuchadnezzar ordered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to be tied up and put into the fiery furnace. Everyone believed that they would die. However, when the three men went into the fire, God protected them, and they lived. When King Nebuchadnezzar looked into the furnace, he was shocked to see not just three men, but four men walking around in the furnace. The Bible doesn't say outright who the fourth man was, but many Bible teachers believe that it was Jesus, or maybe an angel. Either way, the men were protected and not harmed. What a miracle! Once King Nebuchadnezzar had seen that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were alive, he ordered them to walk out of the furnace. When they came out, they were not burned or hurt at all. People praised God for saving the three men. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego remained faithful to God despite King Nebuchadnezzar's demands. God rewarded them by protecting them in the fiery furnace. 